we sing to the eye. It's a little one-horse town, as you can plainly see. And Hannibal, Missouri is the only place for me. To Hannibal, Missouri. My name is Samuel Clements. What? Your name is Haley Pacora. Quiet. I know my name is Haley, but for this play, my name is Samuel Clements. Well, if you're Mr. Clements, what's my name? Mark Twain. How can that be? I thought Mark Twain was the pen name for Samuel Clements. That's true. Then how come you're Sam and I'm Mark? Don't ask me. I didn't write this play. I'm just the narrator. And who am I? My assistant. Now be quiet. Anyway, as I was saying, my name is Samuel Clements, but you can call me Sam. Sam? Did Mr. Clements ever call himself Sam? I don't know. Would you please be quiet? These folks did not come here to hear us argue over if Samuel Clements went by Sam or not. I think they need to hear the truth about. As I was saying, this is the story of Tom Sawyer. Tom was what many would call a problem child. Where in the book does it say that? It doesn't. I'm trying to set the stage for these kind and quiet people that Tom is not the average kid. Now, may I continue? I guess. The play is set in the 1800s. This is Aunt Polly's house. It is here that Tom was raised with his cousin, Mary, and his half-brother, Sidney. Sidney? Yes, Sidney, or just Sid. Tom was always looking for things to do, and one of those things was not W-O-R-K. Work! Congratulations! you can spell. It's at this time that I must warn you that things don't always happen like they should. Are you saying that something is going to happen in this play that might be scary? No, it's more like, why don't we just go back to our stools and watch the play with the rest of the audience. Now sit back and enjoy the show. never get Tom by yelling. He's long gone. Mary, I've told you many a time, the good book says ye only need faith. Yes, ma'am, but the good book was written way before Tom was born. Tom Sawyer, where are you? I'm telling you, Aunt Polly, Tom's long gone by now. Well, it's time for supper. Where have you been? You have not. We've been looking all over for you. Well, supper is ready. Wash up. Mary, go inside and help Sydney set the table. And Tom, where did that boy go now? He's taken off again. Yes, Sydney, what is it? Tom just grabbed a chicken wing and ran out the back door. What am I going to do with a boy like that? <laughs> will make him see the way he ought to be. Oh, what do you do with a boy like that? Why does he do the things he does? Ask him why. He says because. So why does he refuse to mind his P's and Q's? Oh, what do you do with a boy like that? Where does he go? Where does he run? He seems to have a lot of fun. A word on his behalf, he always makes me laugh. Oh, what do you do with a boy like that? What do you do? What do you do? What do you say? What do you say to a boy like that? Boy like that? Who will not stay? Make him see the way he ought to be. Oh, what do you do? What do you say? A boy like that. A boy like that. A boy like that. Boy, 
boy. Tom is always in trouble. Not all the time. Name one time. How about the time he whitewashed the fence? The day started off with Aunt Polly telling Tom to paint the fence. And if he did, he wouldn't have to wash dishes for a week. And there'd be ice cream for dessert. And if he didn't, don't ask. Aunt Polly might look like a frail lady, but I've heard that she packs quite a wallop. I see Aunt Polly has you working this morning. Working? What do you mean? You're whitewashing the fence, ain't ya? Sure, I'm whitewashing the fence, but it's not work. Not work? What is it then? Play. Yeah, it's play. Not in my book, it's work. Have you ever whitewashed a fence before? No. Then how would you know if it's work or play? It looks like work. Well, just between us, it's play. See how easy it is? And you call this work? I'd rather be doing this all day than anything else. Could I try? Do you know how? No, but if you would show me. Okay. Okay, now the first thing you do is... Take the paintbrush in your hand, hold it just like so. Dip the brush into the paint, and away you go. Paint the town. Use your own imagination up and down. Makes the world go round. Come on and paint the town. You will be a big sensation up and down as you paint the town. What are you doing? Having fun. What's Ben doing? Having fun. That's not fun, that's work. Hey Ben, are you having fun or are you working? Having fun. Well, it looks like work to us. Have you tried it? No. You're scared of getting messed. You're scared of getting messed, aren't you? What? That's it, you're scared you're gonna get messed and get in trouble when you get home. I am not. Prove it. All right, I will. If you want to have <laughs> if you want to have some fun and you think you're smart, grab a brush and lend a hand. Now's the time to start. Paint the town. Use your own imagination up and down. Makes the world go round. And when you paint the Sensation up and down makes the world go round. And we paint the town. We'll go up and down and go all around. Let's like paint the town. The fence got painted, and Aunt Polly, true to her word, let Tom off this detail for a whole week. What's the thing on his face? A bag of ice. What for? Well, it so happened so the next morning, Tom woke up with a terrible toothache. 
Did he have too much ice cream the night before? That's my guess. Now be quiet. Are you ready for school? I think I'm going to die. Here, let me look. Don't, it hurts too much. I better, better fetch on Polly. No, never mind. It'll be over by and by. Maybe. Don't call anyone. But I must. Mm. Don't groan so, Tom. It's awful. How long have you been like this? Hours. Ouch. Don't touch me, Sid. You'll kill me. Should have gone in the Hmm. Don't die on me, Tom. I forgive you, Sid, for everything you've ever done to me when I'm gone. Aunt Polly, oh, Aunt Polly, come quick. Tom, what's the problem? Sid says you're dying. I have a toothache, something awful. Open up and let me look. Oh, oh stop your groaning. You have a tooth that needs to come out. Mary, get me a silk thread for my sewing case. Don't pull it out, Aunt Polly. It don't hurt anymore. I don't want to stay home from school. Don't worry about that. This will be over before you know what ever happened. Yeah, that hurt. Give me my tooth. You're welcome. Isn't it time for you two to be getting to school? Now, shoo. Hi there, Tom. Hi there, Tom. Hello, Huckleberry. What's that you got in the box? A dead cat. I bought it off Ben Rogers two weeks ago for a hoop stick. Let me see. My, he's pretty stiff. What is dead cat good for? Cures warts. You got warts? No, but you can't be too careful. How do you cure warts with a dead cat? You go to the graveyard around midnight and stand over the grave of somebody who has just died. Then, at midnight, when a devil, or maybe two, are taking the fellow away, you heave your cat after him and say, devil follow corpse, cat follow devil, warts follow cat, I'm done with ye. And that'll get rid of any warts. Say, Huck, when are you going to try the cat? Tonight, I reckon they'll come after House Williams tonight. But then they bear him on Saturday. Then the devil's get him on Saturday night. No, midnight and Saturday is really Sunday, and everyone knows devils don't work on Sunday. Hey, do you want to come? Of course, if you ain't afeard. Afeard? Tain't likely. Come over to my ra house around midnight. I know. I'll know it's you when I hear you meow. Just be sure to meow back. The last time you kept me meowing until old Mr. Hayes started throwing rocks. Well, um, Aunt Polly was uh, watching me, but tonight I will. Hey, I'm late. I got to get to school. I'm late too. Tom Sawyer. Yes? Come up here. Why are you late again as usual? I stopped to talk with Huckleberry Finn. You, you what? I stopped to talk with Huckleberry Finn. This is the most astounding confession I ever heard. I'll give you a switch, but instead, go sit with the girls. <laughs> I want everyone to write down a paragraph on their slates why they should not be late for school. Oh. Did I ask for comments? Now get to work. Who are you? I'm Nell. I know that. What's your name? Becky. Becky Thatcher. What's yours? Oh, I know. It's Thomas Sawyer. That's what I was born with. You can call me Tom. You draw very well. I wish I could draw like that. It's easy. I'll teach you. You, you will? When? At noon. Do you go home for lunch? I'll stay if you will. Let me see. Oh, it ain't anything. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. You don't want to see. Yes, I do. Indeed, I do. Please let me see. You'll tell. No, I won't. Cross my heart and hope to die. You won't tell anybody at all for as long as you live? No, I won't ever tell anybody. Now, let me see. Hand me your paper, Tom Sawyer. I thought you would learn a lesson by sitting with the girls, but once again, you've proved me wrong. Now, <laughs> Now sit here and mind your manners. It's time for lunch. Go outside quietly. Put 
Put on your bonnet and pretend you're going home. And when you get to the corner, give the rest of them a fake. Come down through the lane and come back here. I'll go the other way and meet you here. Okay. We don't come on until soon after my two soon I mean dead ones, to swing around your head on a string? No, I don't care for rats much anyway, but what I do like is chewing gum. Oh, I do say. I wish I had some now. Do you? I got some. Say, Becky, was you ever engaged? What's that? Why, engaged to be married. No. Would you like to? I reckon so. I don't know. What is it like? Like? Why, it ain't like anything. You just tell the boy you love him, and you won't have anybody but him ever, 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 and then you kiss. <laughs> anybody can do it. Kiss? What do you kiss for? Well, that, um, everybody does that. Everybody? Everybody that's in love. Remember what I wrote on the slate? Yes. What was it? I shan't tell you. Shall I tell you? Yes, but some other time. Oh no, now please, Becky, I'll whisper it. Now you whisper it to me. You turn your face away so you can't see me, and then I will. But you mustn't tell anybody. Will you promise me? I promise. Now, Becky, it's all done, all but the kiss. Now, remember, you ain't to love anybody but me. Will you? No, I'll never marry anybody but you, Tom, and you ain't to marry anybody but me either. Yes. Of course, and when going and coming from school, you're to walk with me, and at parties, I choose you, and you choose me. No. I choose you, and you choose me, that's the way it has to be. It's as simple as A, B, C, when I choose you, and you choose me. Everybody has to make a choice, it can be the hardest thing to do. But it was a very natural thing. When it came to choosing you, I choose you and you choose me. That's the way it has to be. It's as simple as A, B, C. When I choose you and you choose me. I choose you and you choose me. That's the way it has to be. It's as simple as A, B, C. When I choose you and you choose me. I have never done this kind of thing. It is so mysterious and new. But it was a very natural thing. When it came to choosing you, I choose you and you choose me. That's the way it has to be. It's as simple as ABC. When I choose you and you 
choose me. choose you and you choose me that's the way it has to be it's as simple as a b c when i choose you and you choose me So glad we are engaged. Why, yes, when I was engaged to Amy Lawrence. Oh, Tom, I ain't the first ever be engaged to you. Don't cry, Becky. <laughs> I don't care for her anymore. Yes, you do, and you know it. <laughs> Becky, I don't care for her. I only care for you. Won't you say something? <laughs> Please take this, Becky. Tom, come back, Tom. <laughs> Why is it so dark? Quiet. They could at least turn the lights up so we could see. It's nighttime and Tom and Huck are going to the graveyard. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here, Tom. Got the dead cat? Yeah, time's a wasting. Let's go. <laughs> Call the Mr. Williams. I don't think he's gonna be mad. Shh. What is it, Tom? Listen, didn't you hear it? I. There, now you hear it. Lord help us, they're coming. What do we do? Think they'll see us, Huck? Oh, Tom, they can see in the dark. Same as cats. I wish I hadn't come. Don't be afraid, Huck. If we stay perfectly still, maybe they won't notice us at all. I'll try to, Tom, but I'm scared to death. Look, listen. It's the devil, sure enough. Three of them. Tom, we're goners. Can we pray? I'll try as I lay me down to sleep. Shh. What is it, Huck? They're humans. Listen. Money, 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 now the skies are sunny. 
Let's start digging over there. Doc, I don't feel good about this. Yeah, I'm with Stro. Hostelium has been dead only two days, and now we're digging him up? We're not digging up Hostelium's body. How many times do I have to tell you guys that? We're just burying the money here for safekeeping. Who would ever think of looking for stolen money in the graveyard? Now get to work. Dig. Hey, Muff. Yeah, Joe? Why is Doc the boss? We just the ones taking all the chances. Yeah, we the ones that went into the bank while Doc sat outside. Now we the ones digging. Seems to me you should help. I am helping. I'm on the lookout for thieves. Now hurry up. I see the moon rising. I recognize as two of their voices, Muff Potter and Joe Taylor. Yeah, the third one's Doc Robertson. Did you guys say something? No. I thought I heard someone talking. Hurry up. This place is giving me the creeps. There. Put. What? Uh, I'm there. scared. Bring What's going to happen to us now? Find us. I don't know, Huck, but I ain't going to stick around to find out. Wait till they leave, then hightail it back home. All right, but as soon as they're gone, so is I. Well, if you guys aren't talking, someone or something is. Oh, now hurry up and get that box, Barry. There, we're done. Let's get out of here. I agree. The faster the better. But first, let's take an oath. A what? And a pledge that none of us talk. I pledge. I grab the stuff and let's get out of here. Money, money, money now. Why were they bearing, why were they bearing the box, huh? I don't know and I don't care. I'm getting out of here. Quick, Joe, after this. Don't let her stand. Run for it, huh? Oops, I mean Sam. Did you read today's paper? It talks all about the bank robbery yesterday. Yes, I know, Mark. Now sit down. The second act is just about to begin. by the bank robbers? No, they escaped by hiding in a barn. Why don't they just go see Sheriff Smith? They're scared. Of what? The bank robbers. Haven't you been paying attention? Well, if I was them, well, I... you're not. So be quiet. Look, here comes Aunt Polly now. Tom! Tom Sawyer! Aunt Polly, Tom's still in bed. In bed? There's chores to be done and he's still in bed? Sydney, go get Tom out of bed. Ben and Tom Sawyer swear they will keep mm about this and they wish they may drop down dead in their tracks if they ever tell. And rot! 
What's gotten into that boy? Yesterday there was a bank robbery, and now this? Heaven help me if Tom's part of the bank robbery. Can I help you? Yes, I think you can. We're looking for Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Do you know where they are? I don't know about Huckleberry, but Tom's still in bed. What seems to be the problem? I need to ask him some questions. Yeah, like where was he last night? Sid and Mary, go get Tom out of bed. Drag him out here right now. What's Tom done? I think he's part of the bank robbery. Hush now, I just need to ask Tom where he was yesterday. Quick question, I is a going. Tom, Sheriff Smith has a few questions to ask you, you about the bank robbery yesterday. What bank robbery? Tom, now where were you from two o'clock on yesterday? I was in school till around four and then I came home. According to your teacher, Miss Dobbins, you left for lunch and never returned. I, er, uh, uh, I best, I best, I take you down to the, my office. Can I get my clothes on first? You better hurry, boy. I can't believe Tom has anything to do with the bank robbery. These here fellows say they saw Tom and Huckleberry Finn go into the bank about the time of the robbery. And they left in a hurry. What's keeping Tom? Sid, go get Tom. Um, Tom, he's gone. Off. Where are we headed? NRIB Town, me, Huck. I've never been so scared of seeing Aunt Polly and Sher Sarah Smith standing outside with Doc Muff and Joe and uh, on si I outside Aunt Polly's house. It's a good thing you got away. Are you ready? Shh. Who goes there? It's I, Ben. What's got you so spooked, Tom? You shouldn't be scaring people like that, Ben. Why the travel pole? Are you running away? Yup, it's time I was on my own. Well, you might as well join up with us. Help push off and jump on. Why is you running away, Tom? Huck Ben and I was in the graveyard one night last week when we spotted Doc, Muff, and Joe bearing a box in Old House William's grave. They saw us and started chasing us. Then we hid in barn till morning. Then they came with Sheriff Smith saying, I is the one with Huck who robbed the bank of Hannibal. Did ya? Of course not. They're after us because we know they did it. That's why we's running. It's getting dark. Think we should be landing on shore for the night? Let's stop over on that island. Aye, aye, sir. Keep two mateys. We want to be on land before the moon rises. <laughs> We're off to distant places to seek our destiny. We're bound for open spaces to live a life that's free. With no one there to tell us on what to say or do. We'll live the life of pirates together, me and you. Singing yo ho ho, we'll cross the briny sea. We'll race the sail and bid farewell, a pirate's life for me. There's no one that can stop us, not even if they try. For we shall stick together, we'll mark our side by side. And if there is a problem, we'll always have a friend. Cause here we stand united, we're pirates to the end. Singing yo ho ho, we'll cross the briny seas. We'll raise a sail and bid farewell, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho ho, we'll cross the briny sea. We'll raise a sail and bid farewell, a pirate's life for me. For me, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho. Sure makes me sleepy. Me too. I think I was gonna turn in. 
Sounds like a storm's coming. Team Thunder, because thunder. Sure sounds like thunder to me. It doesn't sound right. What can it be if it's not thunder? Maybe it. Listen, don't talk. I don't know. Somebody's a drowning. That's it. They done that last summer when Bill Turner got drowned. They shoot a cannon over the water and that makes him come up to the talk. Yes, I've heard about that. By jinx, I wish I was over there now. Me too. I give heaps to know who it is. Boys, I know who's drowning. It's us. <laughs> Gather around. I got a plan. That settles it. We head for home in the morning. I was almost too excited to fall asleep. Me too. time if there are any of you who would like to say a few words about our dearly departed this is the time to speak as I was saying to Sarah Ben's mother Tom weren't bad so to say only mischievous only just giddy and harem scarum you know he weren't any more responsible than a colt and he was the best hearted boy that ever was it was just so with my Ben always full of his devilment and up to every kind of mischief but he was just as unselfish and kind as he could be, and laws bless me. To think I went and whipped him for taking that cream, never once recollecting that I threw out myself because it was sour. I hope Tom's better off where he is, but if he'd been better in some ways. Sid, not a word against my Tom, now that he's gone. Oh, Sarah, I don't know how to give him up. He was such a comfort to me, although he tormented my old heart out of me. The Lord giveth and taketh away. Oh, it's so hard. Only last Saturday, my Ben busted a firecracker in under my nose, and I knocked him sprawling. Little did I know then how soon. <laughs> there, there. Just the other day, Tom gave the cat some painkiller, and I did think the creature would tear the house down. And God forgive me, but I cracked Tom's head with my thimble. Poor dead boy. Oh, I finally had that brass knob again, but I haven't got anything now to remember him by. Don't worry, Becky. Oh, if I was to do over again. But now I haven't got any, but now I'll never, never see him anymore. We are gathered here today to give our respects to Tom, Ben, and Huckleberry. Now let us bow our heads in a moment of silence. This is a good time to sing. Sing hallelujah, let the good time draw.
we're supposed to get out of town. Without telling anyone? We didn't want anyone to know, especially what we saw after in the graveyard. Graveyard? Sometimes, Tom. I think I'm losing my mind. What are you Tom. talking about? Tom, you promised not to tell about that. I'm tired of being a feared Huck. Huck and I was in the graveyard one night last week when we spotted Duck, Muff, and Joe bearing a box in old Hoss Williams' grave. In the graveyard? Why were they up there? We ain't certain, but they were talking about money, and then they buried a box in Hoss Williams' grave. Son, did they say anything about what was in the box? No, just that they would be back later to get it. Sheriff Smith, have you recovered the stolen money from the bank robbery? No, but I have an idea on who took it. I ain't going to jail for no robbery. I'll get you, Tom and Huckleberry, if it's the last thing I do. Well, it looks like a happy ending after all. It's not over yet. Tom still has to make up with Becky, and Joe has escaped. Well, it's almost over. Yes, now for the last time, be quiet. You have your great today, Tom. Tain't nothing. My mom says I can have a picnic and invite all my friends. Would you like to be there? Well, sure. Who's going to be there? Oh, everyone. And there's going to be lots of food. You like to eat, don't you, Tom? Sure. What else? Games. My, oh, my. Plenty of games. <laughs> and we're going exploring in McDougal's cave. You'll be there, won't you, Tom? I don't see why not. Who's ready for the cave? My, wa my, my mom wants us to go in pairs of small groups. Nobody goes by themselves. Everybody ready? Yeah! Let's go! Tom, it's so dark in here. Do you know where we are? Sure I do. I've been in this case many a time. And without a candle to light my way. It seems ever so long since I've heard any of our friends. We better start back. Come to think of it, Becky, we're way down below them. We couldn't hear them from here. Well, I wonder how long we've been down here, Tom. We better start back. Yes, I reckon we better. Can you find the way? It's all mixed up crookedness to me. I reckon I could, but then the bats. If they put out our candles, it'll be an awful mess. Let's try some other way. Well, I hope we won't get lost. It would be so awful. Well, this ain't the way, but we'll come out to it right away.
shy and we'll walk on together somehow we'll get through it all take my hand don't be shy i will live on forever somehow we'll get through it all to grab Beck and me. He must have slept or something because he was right behind us. What's all the excitement? Joe is chasing us. Joe Taylor, the bank robber? Where is he now? He's still in Dougal's cave. Sid, run down to Sheriff Smith's office and tell him that Joe is in McDougal's cave. My dear, why don't you sit down? Tom, get her a glass of water. This sure has been an exciting picnic. Guess what I said? Yes, Kaylee, you can come. You can come out now, Mark. Are you sure? Is Joe out there? We're the narrators, not the actors. He can't hurt us. <laughs> Couldn't we have left out the cave scene? No, that's what <clears throat> one of the most exciting parts in the whole musical. I don't care. It scared me. Well, you like the way the play ends. <laughs> for their participations in solving the bank robbery and recovering the money. For their efforts, the Bank of Hannibal would like to grant them a reward to each of them. Oh, Tom, you make me so proud. <laughs> you don't have to kiss me, Aunt Polly. I said you too. Ain't you gonna tell her not to kiss you? No, he's engaged. Everybody get on board as 
like to thank the cast members of the Pirates. Please stand. And the school children. And their teacher, Ms. Dobbins. And Doc, Joe, and Muff. And the rest of the robbers. The painter dancers. And the townspeople. Paper boy, Asihoga, and Sarah Amy Connors, Dale Devlin, the preacher, Josh Diane, Sheriff Smith, Doc Joe Muff, Julian Gallo, Matt Evans, Ryan Brolette. Amir Terry and Jimmy Jeff Richards and Ben Patrick Modern Mary Anastasia La Liberty and Aunt Polly Katie Robertson Nathan Ohioson. Huckleberry Finn. Sarah Dix. Our narrator, Samuel Clemens, Haley Picora. And Mark Twain, Natasha Johnson. And Becky Thatcher, Molly Simpson. And Aaron Roskowitz, who's Tom Sawyer. And could the whole cast please stand for a round of applause. And a few other notes. Um, especially for the backdrop design, Amy McEnany and fourth grade girls Miss Griffin's class. Great job. And stage curtain, AJ. And lights, Tristan. And stage, stage crew, come forward for a bow. Thank you. And I'm trying to think if there's someone else here. <laughs> There's a lot of people involved. Oh, people, uh, people for the props, please come forward. Cassie, thank you, Cassie. Props, thank you. And I believe that covers most everyone. There was a lot of hard work. Mrs. Tietzi. And I knew there's a few others. Lee Hudson, right here. Great job. Thank you, Mrs. Tietzi. One more bow. Stan. And thank you, everyone, for coming. I hope you enjoyed the show.